Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lina, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today we are here to do the weekly forecast for July 26 through August the 1st, and we are going to be using the Spirit Keeper's Tarot, Vitruvian Edition by Benna Belwen. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click on the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. I do all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly tarot scopes. On Sundays, we have Conjure Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. Every day, I do a card of the day reveal. On Wednesdays, we have the virtual book club. We are currently reading the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. It has been so much fun following Richard and Kaylin on their adventures, so you are definitely going to want to join us for that. I also pop on from time to time and do free readings, so make sure you get my notifications by clicking that little bell. Also, I do want to let you know that I will be teaching an Animal Speak workshop at the end of this month on July 29th, which just so happens to be my birthday. I will drop the link to the class in the description box below. All right, I feel that I have rambled on long enough. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Card number one. What spirit will be most present this week? And we have... Holy Water. Ace of Chalices. This is the root of the powers of water when a spiritual or artistic realization is about to materialize in your world. This is the seed of concord, fruitful developments in home and family on the domestic front, or promising prospects in love and relationships. Alchemically, the Ace of Chalices is the purification stage of your path toward achieving your magnum opus. Your world is being detoxified, cleared. Through holy water, you connect to your allies, both among the people in your world who love you and your spirit protectors. The color associated with the Ace of Chalices is white for purification and blue for spiritual serenity. When the Ace of Chalices appears to you, you are about to receive, and what you receive will fulfill. What fills you will wash away past hurt. There is renewal. A three-tiered fountain contains the essence that is the prima materia, or first matter to begin the great work. The top tier pours forth three streams of the alchemical primes or triaprima, sulfur, mercury, and salt. In alchemy, the flying dove symbolizes the spiritual force that tempers the opposites. It is the spirit of divine union. Here, the dove symbolizes the presence of the Holy Ghost. Card number two. What is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? And we have the Shining Winds. Nine of Swords. The Shining Winds is alchemizing the elemental nature of air to win a battle. Transmuted air is the qualities of fluidity and heat. Fluidity is the quality the Shining Winds endows you with, and the alchemical instructions this spirit brings to you now is this. Conform to a shape of reference that is around you and be a flowing form of energy. While yielding yourself to the established forms and framework around you, accelerate your activities, because the conditions are ripe for your advancement and you will make great progress soon. This spirit is the active key of illuminated consciousness, the confirmation of a fully formed idea bound for manifestation so long as progressive action is taken. When the Nine of Swords appears in a reading, mind and body are acting in collaboration toward achieving your goal. This is the card that prophesies imminent victory, so long as you continue your proactive progress along the path you have chosen. The Shining Winds is the card that confirms full realization and understanding of a dilemma and figuring out how to troubleshoot or solve that dilemma. Now, what is left to do is to act upon the solution. 
This card also marks the need to change your personality so you can advance further on your path so that mind and body can be aligned. Shift your mindset and you will accomplish more. Card number three. What do I need to be mindful of and prepare for this week? And we have. The Kindred. Three of Chalices. Three priestesses stand by the waters. They're scrying into their chalices. The one to the left with a crescent waxing moon on her sleeve is a young maiden. The center with full moons on her sleeves, not visible, is a mother. The third priestess to the right with a crescent waning moon is the crone. The kindred is the spirit of affinity within the tribe. This is abundance in love, camaraderie, and the prophecy of jubilee to come. A personal zenith point is reached in your community relations. Mutual trust benefits all. Creativity requires input. Fellowship edifies the psyche. By combining the cards from this week's forecast, I was able to come up with the I Ching of Khan. Pitfalls, perils. The abyss. Exercise caution. There is potential for danger here. Be wary of pitfalls, entrapment, and perils. Nevertheless, fear not, because there is a clear path to safety. Where there is trust and sincerity, and a heart serves an important mission, there can be prosperity in spite of the pitfalls. Your endeavor is a worthy cause to proceed with, and so in spite of peril, you must continue and proceed with your endeavor. A journey can bring great rewards. Remain steadfast to the ways of virtue and benevolence in all undertakings. All right, let's take a look at the bigger picture here. Card number one. What spirit will be most present this week? And we have holy water. You are being cleansed. You will find the inner peace you seek. Water is alchemizing in your world, materializing as concord and fruitful development in home and family, the domestic sphere, or promising prospects in love and relationships. Your soul is being purified by what is to come. Unions are forged. What fills you will wash away past hurt. There is renewal. Next, we have card number two. What is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? And we have the shining winds. The shining winds is the movement of the divine winds through the material realms. Here is an angelic virtue who appears as a white horse called Victorum. This is the active key of illuminated consciousness, the confirmation of a fully formed idea bound for manifestation, so long as progressive action is taken. Card number three. What do I need to be mindful of and prepare for this week? And we get the kindred. The kindred is the spirit of affinity within the tribe. This is abundance in love, camaraderie, and the prophecy of jubilee to come. A personal zenith point is reached in your community relations. This spirit also appears when you need a reminder to tend to the familial and tribal relations that matter the most to you. Then, we have the I Ching of Khan. Khan is giving you a warning. When there is so much water added along with the winds, hurricanes can form. We have a lot of water in this week's forecast. Emotions are strong this week. Anytime emotions are involved, people become more sensitive. An overflowing of feelings can cause the waters to boil. Spirit is telling you to keep the waters calm because there is a clear path to safety. Remain level-headed and you will come out the other side purified and renewed. Despite the pitfalls, overall, it does look like this is a very loving and progressive week for you. I hope that this reading has helped you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the week. If you do feel that it has helped you and that it will help someone else, please feel free to share this video. Sharing is caring. And if you would like a more in-depth and personal reading, you can go to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top of the page that says, Book a Reading. Also, don't forget to sign up for my class. I hope you all have a very beautiful and amazing week. Love you bunches. Bye-bye.